right now at 8 o'clock. People in Salem, New Hampshire on alert. This man is accused of tying up check cashing employees during an armed robbery. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Chris Tanaka. The suspect still on the run. We want to get right to WBZ's Brandon Truitt, who is live in Salem. And Brandon, you just got new security camera footage of the suspect, correct? Yeah, this has really turned into quite the operation here as you have departments on both sides of the state line who are looking for this guy tonight. Police say that he walked into this store behind us, tied up employees and then robbed the place. And I want to show you that surveillance video we got just in the last hour or so. It's from a business that's across the street here, the very popular Route 28. You can see the suspect walk into the store just after noon. And seven minutes later, that same camera catches the suspect walking out. Now, police arrived six minutes after that. What happened inside is the question tonight. These images here give us a look that Salem police provided us of the suspect inside the store. And you can see he's wearing a COVID mask, a black Bruins ball cap. Police believe that he's a white man in his 50s or 60s, about 6'2", and they say he had a black backpack. From here, police believe that he hit a nearby trail and used it to head toward a Methuen. People there, of course, feeling uneasy. I literally was driving. I had to go up the on Route 28 to do an errand, and I was coming back and saw a multitude of police cars around the building. And I knew something happened because the tape was wrapped around, the yellow tape was there, but I had no idea what. I'm a little bit weirded out now that I'm hearing this because I had no idea anyone came down this path. So police are hoping anyone that was on that trail at around 1215, 1230 might have seen something. And of course, they want to hear from you if you saw anything or have any video. The suspect, of course, still on the run tonight. He was last seen with a gun. The concern certainly high here. We're live in Salem, New Hampshire. Brandon Truitt, WBZ News. All right, Brandon, that's good information.